Welcome to another training video from Sales Outlook. Today we are going to go over the Sales Dashboard. The Sales Dashboard is an easy to use interface that allows you to get to all of your data. You can get to the Sales Dashboard by clicking on the Sales Dashboard from the Sales Outlook toolbar. The Sales Dashboard defaults to the items you have worked on in the last 30 days. This way it is easy to find the latest leads and opportunities. You can select different options and set them as the default. You can easily create new items by using the new drop-down menu. Just click on new and choose the item you want to create. You can easily search items by using the search drop-down menu. Just click on search and choose the item you want to search. The customizable charts default to a sales forecast funnel. So you can see your forecast for the month. A sales performance graph to see where you are in the latest quarters. You can see opportunity totals for lost, won and open opportunities. You also have a pie chart to show the percentage for closing on your forecast. The bottom section shows your appointments for the next 7 days and tasks due. You can open the full calendar or task items by clicking on View Calendar or View Tasks. Click on the tabs to see Opportunities, Leads, Contacts, Accounts, Activities, Customer Service, Documents, or Run Excel Reports. You can search for data listed in the tabs by entering in the Enter Search Year control. The search works for all tabs. So if you search for an account you will also get all the activities, contacts, opportunities or any related data for that account. You can quickly create a new item by highlighting the contact or account and choose New Note, New Appointment, New Task, New Opportunity, or New Customer Service. You can customize the dashboard to your needs. First select the different graph types to see if a graph better meets your needs. Then click on the settings button and change the items you want as the default. You can set the items that are loaded at startup, the size of the dashboard, refresh interval, and grid style. You can change the graph types and palettes as well as the data that is being displayed in the dashboard. Please see our other videos on working with Sales Outlook items. Thank you for viewing this session. Sales Outlook can be a great addition to your inbox. Please see our other sessions such as working with accounts, contacts, and opportunities, or one of our other videos.